what is going on folks it is rigor mortis we are back with yet another video and today we are talking about shiba inu folks what an absolutely wonderful day in the market shiba inu is leading the charge in terms of gains and volume today we are going to be talking about whether or not i think this is the road to recovery or if there is going to be more pain in the market in the future so if you are new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button join the family throw a like on this video as it really helps the algorithm get it out to more people and comment down below I want to hear your thoughts and opinions about all things Shiba Inu. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. First and foremost, an absolutely marvelous day. Don't want to take away anything from what we are seeing on today's chart. I mean, look at this. A couple of days slash weeks ago, we did give back a zero. We've been pretty much riding steady for a long time. And then boom, today we saw this massive jump. You guys already know what the deal is. Whenever I see Shiba Inu move like this, you know, 37% on the day, volume is looking absolutely wonderful. I always like to take a step back and say, okay, what's happening with the rest of the cryptocurrency market? I know that's not what everybody wants to hear, but it is an important first step in assessing how far this pump is really going to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at it very briefly here. Ethereum. 1.1k so it's really not recovered just yet bitcoin same thing but if you take a look it's all of the altcoins and meme coins right now that are doing incredibly well shiba inu has recovered all the way up to the 13th spot which is absolutely lovely to see but if you look at all of the community tokens i won't list them here but you guys know the ones they seem to be doing the best on the day some of the more speculative plays it's very, very peculiar because usually what we see is Bitcoin slash Ethereum leading the charge. And then after that, we have some recovery in some of these alts. But right now, what we are seeing is a meme coin pump and Shiba Inu is the one that is leading the charge. And then the rest of these community tokens are also having a wonderful day. So the question becomes, the question that I keep getting asked, is this the road to recovery? Well, I'm going to be talking about both sides of the spectrum because we have to be honest with ourselves we can't just come on here and be like yeah shiba inu is going to pump to one cent that's not being realistic so we have to take a step back and really talk about it first and foremost has the macro economic environment changed well not very much unfortunately inflation is still sky high cpi will probably come out high next month on top of that, the Federal Reserve is going to continue to sell off their balance sheet. They are going to continue to tighten. And of course, we know that the worsening situation overseas, there is just so much going on right now. So the question that you have to ask yourself is, are we going to continue to see this pump or is there going to be a bigger correction? And this is just a dead cat bounce slash a bull trap. Well, to be quite honest with you guys, to be quite frank, nobody knows nobody in this whole entire planet is going to be able to call it 100 percent but in my opinion if we go ahead and just take a look at what the chart is speaking to us here we saw these numbers before back in the summer if we click the all-time chart here back in the summer of 2021 this is pretty much where shiba inu was rolling around and these are around where the lows were just a couple of days slash weeks ago and from there we are starting to see a little bit of a move to the upside but again, based off of what I'm seeing on the chart, yeah, maybe one can say that, hey, you know, we felt enough pain and now it's time for us to recover. But what I'm seeing, and you guys know me, I'm not huge on technicals. I'm all about fundamentals, what I'm seeing on social media, what the community is doing. And what people are say saying right now is pretty much divided. I mean, there's people on both sides of the spectrum saying, yes, this was the bottom back here, and now we are on the road to recovery. And a couple of people saying, no, this is just a bull trap. There is more pain to be had in the market. So to be quite honest, nobody really knows. But what we do know is that Shiba Inu is the real deal, in my opinion. There are so many catalysts, big things that are happening in this ecosystem that are really going to get us to the next level. I know I don't know for sure, but I can guess that the tokens and coins that actually survive this huge bear market, this really steep declining bear market that we're seeing right now, I know those are the tokens. Once they come out of the other side, they are going to thrive. And I think Shiba Inu is one of those tokens. People ask me, well, it's sitting at a $6 billion market cap right now. Would it be a bad time to buy Shiba Inu? Well, you might have missed a little bit of this pump here, but again, I've reiterated in the past, I do believe 
Shiba Inu is going to get past this bear market and potentially get back to all time highs. That's why I have held the whole way down and I have no plans on selling because I know Shiba Inu is most likely going to get back to all time highs just based off of the building, the development team and the community push behind this token. I mean, there has there's just so much going for SHIB, and that's what makes me excited. What's on the horizon right now is Shibirium. Right now, we know Ethereum gas fees that we saw in 2021 were absolutely ridiculous. They have calmed down a little bit since the bull run ended, but the gas fees were absolutely detrimental to the growth of the crypto space. And Shiba Inu felt it really hard when we were trying to mint those shiboshis and people had to pay thousands upon thousands of dollars for gas. So Shibirium, our layer two solution, is going to essentially mediate those sky high gas fees that we've been having to face and deal with since we've been talking about Shiba Inu. That is going to be a big game changer for the future of cryptocurrency, uh, cryptocurrencies. If we're talking about metaverse, if we're talking about NFT, if we're talking about play to earn gaming, and if we're talking about just using this as a digital currency to transact, we need to make sure that we are mitigating those fees. Otherwise, nobody is going to use this stuff. We know right now, if I go and I use my credit card somewhere or I use my debit card somewhere, they might charge me a very, very, very minor fee. Most of the time, no fee at all. So we need to make sure that Shiba Inu, in terms of dealing with the metaverse, NFTs, gaming, all of this stuff, is able to mitigate those fees so that people actually start using this thing. And that's what Shibirium is going to do for us. Now, before we take a look at the outlook, the general cryptocurrency market, I just want to give a huge shout out to Weeble. If you guys don't know, I am a Weeble affiliate. That affiliate link is going to be in the description below. Also pinned up at the top of the comments. When you use my affiliate link, open up a brokerage account with Weeble and deposit just one cent, folks. One penny is all they are asking for. You are going to get six. You heard that correctly six free stocks guaranteed absolutely no questions asked so make sure you check out that affiliate link in the description below and i'm also going to pin it up at the top of the comments for ease of access so first and foremost before we wrap up the video ethereum i mean look at ethereum here not really performing all that well on the day and this makes me think that there could be a little bit more pain before we really see that explosive growth when it comes to shiba inu I told you guys, for us to really get back to those all-time highs, we need to see a thriving cryptocurrency market. I want Ethereum to be back at around those all-time highs, and I think as we approach those, obviously Shiba Inu has a lot more upside, but I think we would blow past those all-time highs if Ethereum can get back to all-time highs. So I'm looking at BTC and ETH to lead the charge in terms of the big recovery that we anticipate will happen over the next potentially several months slash years. But it is a patience game. And obviously, it's a very, very risky patience game. So that's what I'm going to leave you guys with. Make sure you go out there and do your research before investing. Please keep in mind, folks, I am also not a financial advisor. I'm just here to put you guys on plays that I am in. Please, please, please do not invest money that you are not willing to lose because this is a very, very risky environment. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the, to the end of the video. It's been your boy, Rigor Mortis. I'm out the scene, folks. Peace out.